That was Behind Crimson Eyes, Fighting for Our Lives. Now, we are joined by some very special guests today in the studio. Very special. And this is why we have all of the horror-themed uh, props finally on It finally becomes apparent. <laughs> Welcome, Darkness Visible. Hello. Thanks here. for coming in, guys. Now, I'll get you to introduce yourselves yes. uh, with your proper stage names. Oh, my name's David Black. I'm the bass player. On stage, I'm Brother Black. My name is Michael Clapham, on stage, Brother Spectre. So, Brother Black and Brother Spectre we have mm. in the studio. Now, we're going to use your stage names today um, yes. to go with your stage costumes. Now, tell us a little bit about how, how this works. Uh, I didn't realise we are in costume. <laughs> <laughs> I, I always dress like this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'd go to work like this, it's no problem. Yeah. This is actually dressed down a little for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're just turning it down. No, I can take it oh. Well, you look fabulous. It doesn't Thank really doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> it's really good. Now, um, in regards to your music, um, I know that we do have a clip of one of your songs called I Nehemiah. Did I pronounce that correct? Correct. Yep. Lovely. See, that's the first time I said that. Yeah. <laughs> um, but, um, okay, so in regards to your music, what would the genre of music be called? Or what do you prefer the genre of music be called? Gothic. Death rock. Yeah, it, it is a little difficult to categorise as we do go from one style to another very quickly. We have a few songs that could be classed as psychobilly, a few songs that could be classed as almost metal. Obviously the early 90s stuff is very much in vision, ingrained in the gothic rock genre because that's what we were listening to at the time. Yep. Now tell us a little bit about the backstory to this song, his name I I'll attempt to pronounce. <laughs> Nehemiah. Nehemiah. Yeah. Nehemiah. Just outshone you there. I, so. Nehemiah. <laughs> Nehemiah is an immortal character. Mm -hmm. He's basically eaten from the tree of life and from the tree of knowledge in the Garden of Eden and being booted out. And he now has this secret knowledge. And he is travelling through the millennia, spreading that secret knowledge. And uh, yeah, the song is almost his roadmap on the road from east to west. And it's done in a, a humorous way. Yeah, you were saying you, yeah. you, you attempt to go against certain stereotypes of what people might think your songs are about. So this one definitely. Yeah, it's very a bit sleaze jazzy, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I like that sleaze jazzy. Now, mm. why why Nehemiah? Why not someone else to be singing about? Why? What brought you to be writing songs about Nehemiah? Oh, I had to pick a name when we when we were coming up. We already had an idea of the storyline at the point where the band formed because. Mm. The name Darkness Visible itself, um, I know people talk about Paradise Lost and all of that, but it's come out straight out of the uh, secret um, uh, Masonic Third Degree. Um, we're not allowed to give away the secrets of the Freemasons here. <laughs> well, if you, I'm if not you familiar with those secrets. <laughs> no, no. If there's any Freemasons watching, hey, how you doing? Hi, <laughs> we love you all. <laughs> No giving away secret signs. Um, better get us in trouble. Another <laughs> song of yours is Flesh, and that's yes. a different theme. But yep. it's along the same lines. So where did you get the inspiration for that one? Well, Flesh is a related theme. Mm -hmm. That's rather than uh, physically where Nehemiah goes, the philosophy behind um, the whole story is Gnostic philosophy. Mm -hmm. And Flesh is about uh, being spirit entombed in flesh. All right, yeah. to get my head around that one. <laughs> yeah. How well, about we uh, have a little bit of a look at the clip? We might um, throw yeah, that you. one. We have, we have I I Nehemiah, Nehemiah so we'll give the viewers, because yeah. we couldn't get you guys to play in the studio, unfortunately. I've heard some very good things about the music, but um, we might just throw you the clip. Definitely. Oh. <laughs> Nehemiah. Yeah, and it was taped in Footscray, you said? Uh, the studio, where we're in front of the audience, that's Footscray. But we also tape parts uh, in the city, mm -hmm. uh, St Kilda Beach, mm -hmm. and Studley Park Boathouse. 
Fabulous. <laughs> we're going to have a, um, a bit of a break, but when we come back, we want to talk to you guys a bit more about your band in the community and how you bring sort of people from around in your um, genre yeah. and act as a platform for that kind of music. So we're going to go to Amanda Palmer, Leeds United, and after that, we'll have a bit more of a chat. All right, thank you.